Hello and welcome to my video. Um, one of the topics I always see brought up on the caravan forums and Facebook pages is regarding Wi-Fi. Um, we do use Wi-Fi um, in the caravan constantly. Um, we currently have this uh, Huawei E53 uh, i35 router. Um, which is really good. However, um, we run it on free network, um, which is through Smarty. Uh, however, some sites we do go to, uh, we find that the signal isn't particularly great, um, and it can struggle uh, with buffering on the television and stuff like that. Um, I know it's a hot topic of hot spotting on your phones and. You know that's all you need, but we in our experience we found that a lot of sites we go to, if you've got no signal on the phone or maybe one bar, you can't hotspot any of that. It won't play the television through the Fire Stick. Um, so we got that router, um, which has been a remarkable, or sorry, a marked improvement for us. Um, however, again, some sites you know, as yourself, will be are quite rural and the signal isn't great. Um, so. I have a wee boy with quite significant additional needs and part of his routine is that you know at night time he's got to watch a certain video before he goes to bed and in the morning he's got to watch certain um, videos um, you know when he gets up or else he just throws his whole day out um, for him so for us it's not really a, an option um, if it was just my wife and I we probably wouldn't bother but um, we're travelling with him and we, need, we do need a good connection um, to watch these particular YouTube videos that, that we've got to watch um, so what I did was I um, invested in this, it's a Pontrig um, omnidirectional Wi-Fi antenna, 4G Wi-Fi antenna, 5G ready, um, it's designed to be roof mounted, um, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, I did actually get to test it a couple of weeks ago, um, my wife and I just went away for a, two nights ourselves. Um, and the site we were on um, had a couple of bars on mobile phone signal um, wasn't the best um, the wi-fi router in the, the caravan um, was on three three bars it was playing stuff through the, the fire stick that we use but it wasn't the best um, it did buffer a couple of times and stuff so um, what i done was i actually connected up the, the, the pontrig aerial um, to the router and just sat it out the window and immediately after connecting up it was five bars and it was streaming um, without any interruption and without any issue so um, a couple of sites I've been on I've had to move the router about the caravan we usually have it on the front window here um, just behind me you can see I've got the, the radio we set it up there sometimes I've had to take it through to the back um, into the bathroom and set it in there to get a signal at the window in there so it can be a bit of a faff so with this on the directional um, antenna on the roof it, should do away with having any of that hassle and boost the signal, we hope. Um, so I'll show you what I'm planning on doing. Um, so my caravan is a Bailey Verona um, and what I plan on doing is this is the fridge that's in the back, there's a cupboard. Yeah, so up above it there's a cupboard um, which has a false wall here. Um, I'm going to screw up the phone actually. Um, and I plan on fitting the aerial in here um, so it's out of sight I was going to fit it in the cupboard which has the television aerial um, which is where the router's going to go but I just thought it might have been a bit crowded up here and the extended cupboard space we've got so I plan on fitting the router here in the back wall um, permanently I'm going to take a 12 volt feed um, I've got a source from maps I'm going to take a 12 volt feed from the tele antenna um, to power the router and I'm out on the back um, there. I did toy with the idea of actually mounting the antenna um, where the roof area is. However, we still do use it to listen to the radio. We've never used the antenna, the roof mounted antenna for the television at all. Um, so I'll run the cables down along the back. Take this trim already down. Take this one down, run it behind these and into this cupboard here. Um, just regarding this point again, that's it there. Um, it does come with another couple of mounts. 
but this is a longer mount that I've attached that takes it through the caravan roof. It has got a 3M pad um, for when you stick it to the roof. Um, I'm not that trusting, so I will you know, fit this. I will silicon around this to give it a better, a better fit, a better seal, um, just to make sure there's no water ingress. Um, this is 100% waterproof as well. Um, I'm not sure what they're eating on IP65, I'm not sure what that means, but apparently it's 100% waterproof. Um, and it's used in marine applications on boats and stuff, so I imagine it must be quite robust. Um, but I'm going to get cracking on, I'll show you what I've done. I'm going to measure up to where I'm going to drill my pilot hole through before I start drilling through the roof at the top. And uh, we'll take it there, I'll show you that once I'm done. Okay, so pilot hole has been drilled, as you can see there. Just like, the top here, so I have my 20 mil hole cutter, which I'll do from the outside and go down from here. Um, so I'll we'll start that just now and I will get back to you once I've through it. Okay, so like the hole is drilled, um, as you can see there. I'll take you outside and show you from up above. So the area will fit in here, screw up to the bottom and then we'll silicon round it. And this is the hole cutter we used here. It's a 20mm hole cutter that you need, but um, this is the perfect size. So we'll get the aerial, um, we'll get it fitted on at the top, we'll give it a wee clean up just now and then we shall uh, take it down. Okay, so I'm just going to fit the aerial just now. Um, Hopefully, I'm going to make it out when I'm done. Just feed the cables down inside the hole. What I'll do is I'll go in and I'll tighten it down from my knees, give it a good seal, and then I'm going to put this um, masking tape on just now, just so I can put silicon around this, you know, just the same way doing it when it was fitted. Um, I'm going to put a bit of sycophonics around this just to make sure it's got a good watertight seal. Um, say this M3 pad is supposed to give it a good tight seal, but over time that will probably deteriorate and um, it's a good source of water ingress, and due to the fact it's in that cupboard, they'll probably not notice it until it's maybe too late. So, and um, just want to belt some braces and make sure it's fitted perfectly. Okay, as you can see, I have it from inside there. So, what I'll do now is um, I will put on the, the nylon nut and get it faded on.
Okay, so that's a hand tight. Um, I'm not going to tighten up or anything. Um, I'm going to solid it around it, and that's a pretty good fit. It's pretty tight at that. Um, I don't want to tighten it too much and pull it on the roof for the stop or anything. So, what the plan is now, I'm going to run the cable through the hole. I won't go back to the trim here um, into the cupboard. So, I'll get started on that in a second and then I'll just uh, show you how we do that. Okay, I've got the aerial um, silicon on it, and that's something I was fitted. I uh, used silicon 522 or 512, I would usually use, but couldn't get it. Um, that's used widely in caravans. I know people give it a lot of bad press, but um, I've used it for years and I've always found it. Good, good adhesion as a, an adhesive, um, so you can stick solar panels to your roof and that stuff without actually screwing in. So um, it's very strong, and um, I've always found it very wear resistant. I've never had an issue with anything I've done using that. So um, just a coating on it, as you can see, just right around the entire thing. Um, it's just belt braces really, the M3 pad might have been okay, but um, I just didn't want to trust it, so that's all silicon done now, um, fitted, and all that's left really for me now to do is the cable inside, um, so I'll do that with you in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to start running that along, as you see I've fed it through the first one, um, just going to drop off the two inside trims, um, and for anybody that doesn't know how to do it, Put a thin button knife and just pop them down. Like so. Uh, and that way you can do it without marking it. You can bend it, use a screwdriver, it's just something you want to find that's going to go in there. And um, the quality really sealant there. So you can actually have stopped and started again, maybe. So I get run it across the middle of here, through into this one, and into the in here, and then we'll see how much we've got, whether I bring the cable in this side or I would go on to bring it in here and mount it here because I'm going to use the 12 volt um, for the antenna for the router as well. So we'll see how we got on. The old tail aerial, I was a uh, I did plan using um, the roof mounted as a pole mounted one. Um, one trick gave me this pole mounted um, mount as well. So I did think about a blanking cap for the top of the aerial and run the cable down the middle of that basically and using this and um, just mounting the pole trick to this. But the meant I would have to do away with the television aerial um, or more importantly for us, the aerial for the radio because. We do use the aerial or the radio quite a lot, but I've never used the um, television aerial recently, so it was a fire stick. Um, so. But we'll continue, I'll show you once I've run the cables and we'll see how we go on. So, as you can see, I've um, ran the cable along. It's taking it along behind that there. I'll put that tram back up there, that's before I start the film again, but I'll show you. So, it's running along here. And into this cupboard. Yeah. Um, these trims are really, they just get a groove as you can see cut on the back of it there. And all they do is push into the bolts. Yeah, and that's what holds them on. So there's nothing, no risk or anything to taking them apart. Um, they just push back in again pretty easy. So um, once I've got it fitted in here, I'll come back to you and show you how it's done. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I've got the, all the wires in. It's done in. Um, I don't know if I can flip my camera around to show you here. Yeah, no, I can't flip it, so we just need to stop and start again. Okay, so my arm's in, it's ran in. Let's see if we've got it on it. Cable's back up, back in, and here. The yeah, router's connected up. As you can see, this where I store the caravan is pretty bad signal wise. Um, I'm on three, my phone, which can be used smarty on the, uh, the router, which is with three, however, you can just stop and start it. 
um, so you usually just buy them one or three data and they go away and runs for a month and cancels out again 20 quid um, which is not too bad but as you can see absolutely no signal on it just now so I will connect up uh, um, the antenna and we'll see how we go through there and just on another note this is a bracket that I got mine bracket um, it was 3D printed by a guy um, on the internet so um, but it's just so I can Take the router in and out as we, we please. Okay, so that's it connected back up. Um, I'll just wait and see if we I don't get the signal up. So as you can see, connected up and we now have uh, four bars on there. Um, the router's just putting it back up again because I disconnected it 12 volt. Made a mistake. And um, put it back in. So that's us now we've got internet. And we're up at four bars on that. Um, to say this is a pretty bad area for 4G, for um, certainly for three anyway. I don't know about any other network. Um, but um, it's now good signal. Um, and I'm going to try in a minute just streaming something on my phone to see because I don't get that up here at all. I couldn't, could never stream anything on the phone, Netflix, YouTube, or anything like that. So um, I'm going to try that in a minute. But not quite happy with that. It's in um, great signal, so um, I'm just going to fix these wires back in. We've got a wee, got a wee channel out of that. And um, the reason I bought that and this bracket and the velcro on to that is I'm not a big fan of drilling holes. I don't need to. Um, obviously, I've drilled contrary to what I've done. I've drilled a hole in the roof to fit the aerial. However, that will be staying with the caravan and going with the caravan um, for the next owner to use for their Wi-Fi and router. Um, but that router will be coming out and as well as the bracket if we ever sell a caravan so in that way I can just remove those velcro straps um, and not leave any holes so 